girls and gays it is lb twink and i'll welcome back to my channel in today's video i know you guys could read the titles i am being that bitch today that irresponsible ass bitch i have been doing nails for about like i want to say a month month and a half now now i need to give myself a new set and i feel like i need like a baddie ass moment in my life and my last set was just like plain black acrylics very boring very unlike me i think i was just having a moment this isn't gonna be like a tutorial this is gonna be more just like drinking speaking out of my ass and giving myself a set of nails so if that's something you guys are interested in then keep on watching before we get into the video if you guys aren't already make sure you go ahead and pause this video right the fuck now like literally do it and just give this video a big thumbs up and also while you're at it click that red subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button if you want to be notified whenever i do a video today also i should mention honorable mention phoenix was literally just visiting our house she left obviously to go back to portland she left behind in the fridge these like Apple ciders, these hard ciders. I've never really drinking these before. These ones are like pineapple flavored, but they're honestly fire. But yeah, 5%. Now let's get into actually doing the nails. So right now your boy's just gonna sand his nails. I literally asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to see like a video like this. I didn't really plan to film a video today because I've been busy doing the fucking most today. How do you said yes like really quick? I deleted the story post because I was like, damn bitch, how are you gonna commit to that right now? I don't know, do people even like nail content? Imagine if you came to this video thinking you were gonna get like a full-fledged nail tutorial. But the gag. It's funny because whenever I talk on the internet, my tone is so sassy. That just comes from people continually sending me hate. So I just feel really pressed all the time. Now we are gonna go ahead and remove my cuticles. If you guys don't know, I have had, I feel like, kind of like a little bit of a complicated situation with like getting a whole ass car. This was actually back in like 2019. I was driving my first car that I had, my child. Her name was Trixie. She was a little 2005 Kia Sportage. I was going on the freeway and I was heading to work. I was in the fast lane. My car, I was pressing down on the gas pedal. Nothing was happening. So here I am, traffic hour, LA traffic hour, and my car is slowly coming to a stop. And so basically I got stuck in the middle lane of the highway. Traumatizing. Had like one of her friends took my old car and he probably sold that shit for parts. This guy ran like a car rental place and he basically just like gave me a car for free. And I had that for a couple months and then he hit me with like, hey, want you to like pay for this car now. Like literally all the tires were flat. I got rid of that car. Since then I have not had a car and it has been killing me. Over the past like couple weeks, I've really been like car hunting and just looking for a car and but I found a car and I am really hyped already got pre-approved for the loan for the car which literally makes me fucking ecstatic so yeah I'm getting a new car and that's on adulting bitch so now we got our little nailsies prepped we are right now sizing like they're like the little clear tips we have I have to like shape the cuticles to each of my nails and like size myself out when I do my nails I usually just do one hand at a time just so I can like get the full look down on one hand I used to like hate the sound of like nail stuff like this I used to cringe at and I still like kind of cringe at it but I feel like I am getting more and more used to it that was the ugliest noise. A big goal of mine this year in 2020. Well, actually, no, not a goal. A damn realization. Bitch, I need to make more money. So I really took quarantine to develop a skill, my nails, and I'm running with it. They're so fun to do, and I feel like it's like very, like almost like an artistic outlet of like something for me to do. I said when I first started this, and I stand by this, I like first started getting nails to like feed my creativity as well as my ego. Now this is just like such a new creative process for me of like being able to like actually do everything I want. In 2020, we want to be self-sufficient. Whenever we can be, we want to be. You guys can't really see, but there's like about this much left in it. Let's go ahead and just chug her. I feel like my true colors are like really showing right now. After I do all that sizing and stuff, I really just have to like go in and like. Okay, but anyways, look at my leg brace. This is really how I be walking look. So here we are. We have prepped one hand of the nails and now we feast. 
we talk about how everything in Los Angeles right now is shutting down again because bitches be refusing to wear masks. How older people, they really be so pressed about the fact that we have to wear masks in public and I just don't get it. It's not like you have to wear them literally 24 seven. Like you're literally wearing it for a fucking moment. I don't know, it's really stupid. That's my opinion though. Now here's a little montage of me starting to get the nails onto my nail beds, I guess. Yeah. Now here are the freshly prepped nails. They, I realized, I don't know how I forgot, I wanted to make a TikTok because this split on my leg, I can't be throwing it back, can't be doing my dances. So we're gonna make a TikTok. Oh my God, I guess you guys get to be a part of my TikTok process. If you don't follow me on TikTok, my TikTok is at Lil Twink. I just hit 40K on there, so that's fucking awesome. That's the biggest platform I have. <laughs> Bitch, we get into lit. I don't know if that's copyrighted, so let's just go with that one. Let's go ahead and let's go get these fake nail tips, like, on my nails, I guess. Did I forget this was a drunk video? Maybe. Chugging this is low-key not it. It tastes like syrupy as fuck. Okay. Let's keep going before things really get messy here. This is probably one of the most complicated parts of the process just because usually if I have a client, I will have them hold this light over their nail to like dry it. I'm gonna just have to figure it out myself. I think actually I'm gonna try to zoom in so y'all could just like see my struggle, hold up. I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's just go ahead. For this part, I mean, if you guys watched my last nail video, you might know, but if you didn't, which I'm sure half of you fake ass bitches probably haven't, I just like, ooh, ooh. You just one, two, Three. How can I see? No, it just, it's not working. Damn, this is a hot mess. This is so hard and messy. I hate this. Trying to film and do this, it is not it. Oh no, I'm getting sticky stuff everywhere. Did I get it on my camera? It's tears. This is what happens when you leave me alone. And I've been in the house for too long. I really haven't left in days because bitch my leg. I'm gonna go get the rest of the nails on these hands. Bitch, we got all the nails on. That actually didn't take me as long as I really thought it was gonna take me. My leg is sitting on a basket right now and that basket is um jabbing into my foot. So there's that. I'm still debating if I wanna shape them into points, but I just might, you know. Tingles are back, bitch. I've just made the executive decision that these would be a lot better if they were pointy, so now I just gotta go snip the tips. It's always like a hit or a miss, and sometimes I get really close, like just now, to cutting myself. But thank god I didn't. I think I'm just gonna show you ah, how I shape one nail. I kinda just snip it. You already know we go in with the nail file. I feel like I've gotten a lot quicker each time I do it. Period. I did that so quickly. Oh shit. The thumb is a pointy pointy claw. So I'm gonna go do that to the rest of the nails on this hand. Before we do that though, you already know. Damn, I finished the second one. When we get back, we're opening the third. I just made them into actual claws. Let me be quite honest with you. I'm a little tipsy. I don't know what time I started this at this point. When I did start, it was for show the daytime. But now it's nighttime and... So there's that. But yeah, these are killer. I gotta make the next part to the TikTok again. Let's see where we left off, we said. <laughs> I think it's time to start painting the nails. I'm like nail tools. <laughs> I'm using the gel polish by Beatles. I literally got it on Amazon for like 23. I'm going to be doing black dots everywhere and then white flower petals. Yeah, it's really not gonna be that interesting. So I'm probably just gonna make this a montage starting <laughs> right now.
Now, I wouldn't just tell y'all that I snapped if I didn't snap, but damn was that shit one of the most tedious things I have done. Yeah, I could say now that, yeah, I'm pretty drunk, so... This set came out like so fucking cute, you know? That whole trying to record it while it was gonna happen, no, that would have taken me 20 fucking minutes and a good 3 gigabytes of storage. But like, look at that. They're like little flowers on my fingers, they're fucking cute! Oh shit. I gotta go give basil medicine, BRB. Now we are going to put the top coat on, and then this hand is gonna be done, and I'm gonna have to spend a long ass time doing this, which is actually my bad hand. I'm not looking forward to the appraised gel top coat. If you've made it this far, I feel like it's worth mentioning at this point. I told you guys earlier how I am buying a car, and with buying a car comes a lot of, um, expenses. With that being said, these are my merch pieces and if you guys would care to rock them, I love seeing photos of you guys in them. If you guys want my merch, it is going to be at www.teespring.com slash store slash lbtwink. You get it and you tag me in a photo of you with it, as long as you're not private, I'll be able to see it and I will repost it. Now we're just waiting for these to dry and then I'll show you guys the final product. Y'all, if I do not say so myself, these are so fucking cute. I'm hyped. I'm a hella hype. I think this is probably on myself next to one of the favorite sets I have done. Now since we did that effortlessly, so good. I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna let my camera charge and I'm gonna go finish my other hand and then I will show you guys the final product. All right, babies, cheers. Here we are, and now it's like almost midnight. We're about 20 minutes away from midnight, and I am finally, finally done doing my nails. Whenever I do a set on myself, that shit is so much harder. This is how the nails ended up coming out. They are so absolutely motherfucking adorable. Like, look. Quite frankly, with this hand right here, I was damn near struggling. We got this much left in here. Let's just chug that, and then I got a surprise. Your boy decided he's gonna smoke in this video. Now, why did I decide that? Because I can fucking do that. Let's just end this night out because honestly, I have a headache from being bent over and fucking focused on my hands. Like literally my back hurts, my neck hurts. And yeah, so hopefully this will fix it. But anyways, before we head out, if you guys enjoyed this video, of course, make sure you go ahead, give it a thumbs up and also make sure you go subscribe down below. I will see you guys very soon and hopefully my next video will be me buying a car. I hope the girls and gays have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. XOXO, I'll be twink.